Terry here. Energy focus for the week. What is going on with your energy right now? What are you noticing? We are focusing this week on the energy of that full moon coming in. They call it actually a micro full moon. Micro because it is the furthest away from the earth right now. It's offering us the opportunity to kind of focus in a little deeper on what's going on with you. Focus in on some of those dreams that you've been working with for the winter so that we can bring them out as we start to enter into that next season. It's in Virgo, which is going to help ground. Many times as we get into this last part of the winter season, we can get a little bit isolated, feeling lonely, maybe even touching on a little depression. We tend to like feel that comfort of being in that womb, of being in that cave, yet we know we wanna come out. We know we want the warmer weather and the beautiful skies and all, but, Sometimes that comfort zone can just feel a little bit too comfortable. So we have this struggle. Now we've also moved into the Pisces season and Pisces is, you know, the fish going two different ways, right? And we could feel a little bit of that, the light and the dark. Pisces is deep and it's very sensitive and it really is calling to you to understand what are those emotions buried deep inside of you? What has been churning during this season of winter? So we can feel a little bit of that opposition, that push pull to open up, stay in, open up, stay in. And so it can feel a little bit like chaos. So it is a good time right now to start to notice and micro tune in to those parts of you that are really calling for your attention. I know sometimes it's hard. We want to just be out there and going and going and going, but it is important to disconnect a little bit, to go into yourself, to really be present, align your energies so that you can understand what is calling for you right now. I think the full moon, right? It really pulls on us, especially as impasse, right? We pull on us, we feel it. I know I can channel a lot of energy from the cosmic forces and a lot of what is going on right now is that isolation, is that feeling of separation and aloneness. But when we can really fine tune, tune in and notice what our own feelings are, where are we? It helps to break up the energy. I know I talked about this last week on the podcast for me and just some of that victim energy that tends to come forward and the ways in which I was dealing with it. Give it a name, call it out, open it up instead of perpetuating the pattern. That's what we really want to do. Some of it's like subtle energies we don't even recognize is really kind of steering our life, steering our mind into helping us or not helping us to get out of those old patterns. And so sometimes these seasonal transitions, we're coming to the end of winter, sometimes those can be hard for us, but if we allow ourselves to use the light of the moon, use the light of the day, it is getting longer, it will help to inspire the spirit, to start to really feel into the emotions that hold us down so that we can cut those cords and allow ourselves to repattern, reprogram our mind, our emotions, our body, our spirit heading us into the new season. We still have a few more weeks, but there is an awakening going on. And even that can feel a little chaotic at times. So as we start this week, we are starting out today in the energy of the moon being in Cancer, which is already pulling on that sensitive energy. And as we go through the week, the days are getting longer. Notice what you're pulling in from the universe. Notice what you're pulling in from those all around you. Are you being extra sensitive? Pisces can do that for us, but use it in a way that helps you learn. What are those lessons? What are you trying to understand deeper about yourself? Well, we can tune into that deepest part. As we talk about, we go into meditation, that part that connects you with the greater spirit. You get to remember, you get to co-create your life. You're the one in charge. I know we can get into the like, oh, everything's happening to me, but Right now is that opportunity as the light is growing all around the sun, the moon, the days, it is helping us to awaken to the deeper parts, to shine light on that darkness within us so that we can open up. Spring is the time to manifest, to plant seeds and to really get to know what is it you want to bring forward this year.
So as you go through this week, just notice the sensitive feelings ground the moon is in going to be in virgo for that full moon in virgo which is grounding earth energy and that's what we want to do we want to ground all that emotional energy so that we can focus our path focus our energies and awaken to a bigger part of who we are so let's take a moment to align our energies breathe set an intention and we'll look to the cards for some guidance and see what messages come in so wherever you are, if you can, close your eyes for a moment, just a moment. Going to light some sage, call in the element of fire, air, cleaning the space, water, moving the emotions, and earth, grounding, centering, allowing yourself to become very present. Taking a deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just call all your energy in, call in your spirit. Feel the alignment of your spirit right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies. Call it all in. Taking another deep inhale and exhale right into the deepest part of your heart right there. That's where the magic is. That's where you co-create with God. Feel that connection. Your spirit, the greater spirit, source, creator. Know that you're loved, guided, protected. Feeling all this energy coming in around you, guiding you. Taking one more deep inhale right into the heart. Setting an intention for this week under the light of the moon as it grows, under the light of the sun as the days get longer. Feel it, see it, know it, and allow the elevated emotions of how you want to feel to radiate out all around you. Releasing that intention out into your aura. Take another deep inhale and exhale. Grounding your energy, sending it all the way down with Mother Earth. Feeling your heart open. Feeling the power of your third eye projecting out. And as you're ready, blinking the eyes back open. Coming back. So let's see what the cards have to say for us this week. Ace of water. All right, some of that cancer energy coming in, Pisces energy, sensitivity. But ace of water is all about a new self-love coming in for you. Look at that heart on this card, the sun behind it. It is about opening up to a love for yourself, opening up to your intuitive energy, to the emotions of the heart, and letting that radiate out all around you. So important that we love ourselves and let that radiate out to others. So we draw three more cards for clarity for this week. To a fire. Bring your passions out into the world. Fire is passions, desires, purpose. Two is that duality in life. All right, you have the inspiration and now it's time to open up, bring it out, especially as you prepare for that new season. Really feel what that passion is for you from the heart, from the heart, open up to the passions. One and two, I love that. Three is next. Okay, three of earth. This is about grounding with Mother Earth. Some of that Virgo energy coming in at the end of the week. So this is about that initial collaboration, like looking around what is working in your physical world. All right, we do. We take some time to notice what we've built. All right, what can we then collaborate with and bring this forward? But it is a time to observe what has been going on in the world around you. Who are you working with and how can you open up even more? We have another three. All right, one, two, three, three. Fun numbers. But this is a little bit about some healing that needs to go on. We have this three of air. Many times we think it's of the heart, but really it's of the mind. It's a little healing within yourself that needs to figure out some of the subtle energies going on around you. What is your mind telling you about your heart? That may not be true. It might just be energy that is stuck there, that is old patterns and old habits. So where can you let this go the best way? Loving yourself. Loving yourself even greater. So as you do some healing, open up the heart to your heart, your love, your vibration of energy. Open up to your purpose. Ask the questions. What is my purpose right now? Schedule an Akashic reading with me. We'll go into looking at soul purpose. If you've never done one, they're quite fascinating. And I do have some spaces right now. Check it out. 
Ground with Mother Earth. Notice what you have been building and what will be available to you as we open up to that new season. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. Just pulling all this energy into you. Noticing how this resonates with you. Feeling yourself being open to receiving these messages. To noticing your path. Need some extra help? My virtual retreat is this Saturday. You can still join. Link is in my bio on my website. An afternoon of self-care using the rights, Reiki, Intuition, Tarot, EFT, Stones and Crystals. It is the time to tap right now. We'll set a crystal grid for the spring energy. Come join us. This Thursday, I'll be over at Treehouse. One last chance to come join me. Let's try this. Drop in, practice our psychic skills. You can do it. Take another deep inhale. And exhale, centering, grounding, bringing all your energy into you. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.